Anita, for more on this, joining me now, former Immigration and Customs Enforcement Director Tom Homan. Tom, thank you for taking time. As you may have seen this past week, I just got back last night from the caravan in Mexico. They're moving slower than they were two years ago, but they are indeed intent on making it to the U.S. 4,000 strong. It's interesting. This one is made up of so many children, more than 1,250 kids under the age of seven, women with babies. It's incredible. But the news of the week is that uh, the administration looking for essentially reparations for illegal crossings in the separation of children on top of the administration saying that they're seeking again to terminate NPP. How do you see this? What do you make of this? Well, look, well, look first, first of all, paying family members 450000 is just ridiculous. We're paying people that violate our laws to enter this country legally, which is a crime. And the parents were charged with a crime. So the, the child couldn't go with the parents to lock up. So what message are we sending to the Mexican cartels now and, the, and all the uh, family units that want to try to make this dangerous trek? Come across the border, commit a crime, and you will never be prosecuted because we don't want to separate people. Even though U.S. citizen families get separated every day, when a U.S. citizen parent gets arrested in the presence of a child, that parent goes to jail and the child goes to CPS. But they want a different set of rules for the migrants. And, and we put this on top of the no work site enforcement you know, policy just came out from the department. The new ICE priorities, which basically say ICE can't arrest somebody for being here illegally. The, the, they stopped building the border wall. It, with everything this administration is doing, it's just bringing more people into this country illegally. They haven't done any enforcement strategy, no consequence, no deterrence, just more and more enticements. It, it, we, we're in the middle of the, the biggest border crisis in the history of this country. Historic numbers, never been seen before. And you just keep coming out with more and more policies that send a message Come to the United States illegally. If you get released to the United States, you never got to leave. Matter of fact, you can get a job here illegally now, and you don't have to worry about ICE arresting you because you're not allowed to arrest you. Tom, you and I have covered this a lot. Obviously, two years ago, for 6,000 miles, I went with the caravan from Honduras all the way to Eagle Pass, Texas. That's where they crossed in 2019 during that caravan. But I want to show you a picture I put up today. It tells really kind of the story of this caravan, the incentives this administration is giving people. This woman walking in 90-degree heat, she came from Nicaragua walking and she's smiling because I'm taking her picture. This is really the tragedy of it with so many women and children. There's more than 100 babies under a year old in this, and they all believe that this administration wants him to come. One migrant from El Salvador named William told me, quote, tell Biden we're coming. Is it your belief that this administration is intentionally taking these, these uh, making these decisions to incentivize people to come like this caravan? Absolutely. This is open borders. President Joe Biden ran on these promises and he's kept these promises through executive orders. Like I just said, you can't point to one thing this administration has done to slow the flow. And while you're down there as caravans, I advised you the last couple of weeks, Griff, and what's the number one people say to you? I'm coming here to get a job. They're not, they're not escaping fear and persecution of their homeland. They're coming here to get a job. And what's the first thing the Biden administration did in response to that? They sent a memorandum, memorandum out to ICE saying you can no longer do worksite enforcement operations. So, so even they're watching the news and say, oh, what can we do more to open this border? This is open borders, not mismanagement, not, not incompetence. This is by design. And yeah. this is going to continue because the actions of this administration speak louder than the words. 600,000 releases in this country, 400,000 yeah. gotaways. That's a million illegal aliens living in this country now. They have no fear from ICE or from the judicial courts. Yeah, it's unbelievable, Tom. They also, last night, I reported this breaking news today, the migrant caravan was offered work visas for the women uh, in the caravan with children. They turned it down. They continue marching. Tom Homan, thank you for taking time. Have a great Saturday. Anita? Thanks for having me, Griff.